Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in this video, I will be talking about the new features that are part of 2025 release wave one for Dynamics V65 customer service and contact center. So let's jump right in. The first announcement, the, the very exciting announcement I wanna say is the announcement about three autonomous agents inside of Dynamics 365 customer workspace. That's that app, right? That our customer service reps can use when they're working on cases, when they're doing all these things in contact center and customer service. Now, not all of these agents will be available in Dynamics 365 contact center. And I'm gonna tell you in a second why that is. But let's first start with the first agents and this is the customer intent agent. What this agent does is it actually identifies the intent of customers through chats and transcripts, case resolutions, and a lot of other things as well. So what it does is then it's going to manage this intent library to actually classify issues. Now we've seen this type of behavior before, if you've actually accessed the customer service history report, there was topic classification going on as well. So if you would have a couple of different cases, maybe a case that was called shipping damage, and another one was called damage during shipments, and then another was called my items were damaged during the shipment, all of those were then classified as something that could be called shipment damage, right? So the intent agent is gonna do the same thing. You can have all these different phrases that really come back to this one intent. Then what it's going to do, it's actually going to map that intent to resolutions. And this does a couple of different things, right? First of all, it helps these CSR understand the customer intent a lot quicker, right? So that's a big thing. The other thing that it does, right? It is an AI agent, obviously. So it also will help these customer service reps to ask the right questions to their customers, right? So it automatically is going to create those questions and it could even populate that in the chat, right? Not sending it to the customer yet, populating it in there so that the CSR can review it. And then if it looks good or if it needs to make updates, it can do that before hitting send and then communicating that way with that customer. Pretty, pretty amazing, right? This again, saves a lot of time because they don't have to come up with the questions. They don't have to do the research on the questions and they don't have to manually enter and type that information in that chat. So a couple of very big things here happening. Now, the other one that I wanted to mention is the case management agent. And this one is not available in Dynamics 365 customer service, or I'm sorry, I should say contact center, excuse me, simply because contact center doesn't have cases, right? Cases is really coming from the underlying CRM system. So this could be a service now, this could be also Dynamics 365 customer service. So if you have both, then you will get the case management agent. Uh, that will be available for you. Now, what this means is that it actually will auto generate a case. So think about, right, a chat coming in, you have a transcript of that chat, the agent will automatically create that case and then it will also automatically fill some of the fields in that case based on the transcript, right, the chat that's happening and also historical data from that customer as well. It also helps your customer service agents work on cases. So think about maybe there's a communication going on with one of those, those customers, right? So this agent will actually keep track of those communications. It can then also suggest actions for your customer service reps, right? Maybe you need to respond to a customer and it can even help again with those responses, with those emails as well. Then at a particular point in time, when it's, when it's obvious that this case is resolved and it needs to be closed in the system, the customer service rep will again see a notification because you're gonna see this little icon that says, hey, this is a suggested action, please close the case. And this could be because the CSR received an email from the customer saying, right, my problem is solved or something like that. It could be in chat where the problem was resolved, but it will be smart enough to detect that, right? And then suggest that action to close the case. 
And then when the rep actually accepts that action, it will pull up that case resolution form and even pre-fill all of those fields, right? Based again on that historical data from that case, those communication case notes, et cetera. So again, this is really going to streamline the processes inside of Dynamics V65 customer service. And then lastly, there's also going to, going to be something that is called the knowledge management agent. And the name already kind of says what this does, right? So it can actually generate draft articles from historical case data that you have in your system already, but it can also do that after closing a case, right? So think about a customer service rep closes a case and then you're going to have again that suggested action that says, hey, review this draft knowledge article. Now, obviously, the agent will decide whether or not it will create a new draft article or whether or not it will update an existing article. And it does that by comparing the case information with existing articles, right? And then it will make a decision on that. Now, once that agent is drafting that article, you're going to see there's going to be different section sections in that article. You're going to have an issue description. So what was the problem? Then you're going to have the cause, right? What caused it? And then you're going to have the resolution steps in there as well. So that's what that looks like. Then the agent, right? That's that uh, suggested action. Hey, review this article. The, aid, the customer service agent, customer service rep. Now it's getting confusing with the agents everywhere. But the rep can then review the article. And if they have the permissions to do so, they can also publish the article. There's actually going to be a semi-autonomous section uh, selection on there. Or you can set it to be fully autonomous. Now, I don't know what the differences are here because I have not gotten my hands on this yet, but definitely uh, I'm going to do a video uh, on that as well, how exactly that works and how we can configure that once we get access to that autonomous agent. Now, some additional things here that were part of the release notes is also the co-pilot agent for surveys. And this is actually in preview now. Unfortunately, I have not had a chance to play around with this. Um, so I don't really know exactly how it works. I do know that this is a custom agent that is going to gather customer feedback through the different channels, right? So think about email, messaging, voice, et cetera, all those different channels that we have. Now, this is not an agent that will be created by Microsoft. This is an agent that you can create yourself from scratch, and then you can have it do those types of things, those surveys. A couple of other things in the release notes as well. I'm not sure if you guys read this. Contact center for sales. I don't know about you guys, but my customers have been asking about this for a long, long time, right? All these omni-channel capabilities that we currently have in Dynamics 365 contact center, right? Why can't we not utilize those for sales? So that's what this is. Right, you're now going to be able to have your sales reps uh, also use customer service workspace and maybe even a custom app that you develop for this. And then they can utilize some of those features that we currently have in Dynamics 365 Contact Center as well. So I'm super excited about this one. Then there's going to be more Copilot stuff. Obviously, you're going to see Copilot recommendations when it comes to email templates. Uh, again, not sure how that works, but apparently um, it's going to uh, look at certain things in the email, maybe historical data, and then suggest a template that the CSR can then utilize for the, that email. Uh, another thing that was mentioned was that sentiment indicators inside of emails and in the inbox and that type of stuff. So that would be good to be able to kind of see what that sentiment is in those emails. Um, pretty excited about that. We can also, as administrators, now configure session limits. So remember, we have a multi-session app, Customer Service Workspace. Currently, the max sessions that you can have open at one time is nine, and you cannot make that any higher. That is the max, but you can set it lower. So you can now choose the number of sessions to be between three and nine for your customer service reps that are actually using the apps. And then this one is very, very important, right? Being able to restore or have the system automatically restore all of the sessions that were open, including chat, right? After there was a browser refresh, maybe somebody mistakenly 
refresh their browser hitting F5. I don't know what, what that could be that it automatically refreshes, but when that happens, you can actually now turn this feature on so that all of those sessions will be coming back after that refresh. And then lastly, there's gonna be the ability for system administrators to create, it says, it says personal views, but to me, if a system administrator has to create them before the CSR can actually add the view to their inbox, to me, that's more of like a system view, right? So those views for inboxes can now be created by admins and then our CSR, a CSR can then add those to their inbox. So some pretty cool features are coming, right? I am super stoked about these autonomous agents that we're gonna be able to use inside of Dynamics C65 Customer Service and Contact Center. So let me know what you guys think, all right? I would really, really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.